Hi, welcome thousands of viewers to Fuego Frio, the long-running Washington City Paper special where we take the temperature of local media. I'm joined by our longtime media analyst, Ruth Samuelson. Hey Ruth, how you doing? I'm good, how are All you? Alright, good to see you. Well, uh, we've done our formalities, let's get right into examining what local media has been doing on the page. What publication will we start out with? I believe we should start off with the current here. We have an article about the new cupcake shop that opened up in Georgetown. What do you think about it? Well, I just thought it was a fine piece. It was done by Jessica Gold, a, a City Paper graduate, but mm -hmm. I don't know, sort of left me a little limp. I thought so. I thought it was a little cold. What do you think? Cupcakes are so over. I think you know okay. they were doing them in New York a decade ago, and Frio. forget it. Let's try something oh. new. <laughs> no, the glue stick is failing us. This years and years of work on the glue stick. Anyway, what's our next publication? Next up, <laughs> we have this article that right, ran yesterday's Washington post. post. It, um, Carissa Williams interviewed a bunch right. of women in Texas about what they thought about the candidates. And this was a particularly penetrating piece. I thought that, you know, not only with the layout and everything, it's good for dead tree readers. There's a nice, uh, easily understood graphic there. And I think it's a bit of a departure uh, from a lot of the horse rate by just talking to voters. I'm going to say they're hot on this. I agree. Let's give the Fuego designation. <laughs> All right. Why don't you take this one? Okay. Next item up is El Comercio, which is, uh, of course, uh, your uh, Latino or Spanish language weekly uh, coming out of Manassas. Now, this week, uh, in this particular edition, uh, El Comercio uh, has a nice little story about recommending um, uh, getting your flu shots. Um, I think that's a pretty hot topic, given that we're still having, even though it's been bothering, we still have some cold weather. Need to watch out for the flu. I felt sick last weekend. I say fuego for El Comercio. <laughs> yeah, right, right in the Washington Post, El Comercio looking good. Now we have a, a bit of a dispute coming up, I think. Oh, you, really? I think we disagree on this one. So we're looking at a New Yorker piece by mm -hmm. Ryan Lizza. Right, right, Ryan Lizza. I'm a Lizza fan. I think he's really competent. I didn't read the entire piece, but what I read of it, I, had, I thought it had nice details. It was you good. Thought, well, it was I a mean, nice portrait of what it's like to be on John McCain's Straight Talk Express. All right, well, I mean, we've seen thousands of iterations of such journalism. Anybody can get on the Straight Talk Express. Ryan Lizza has done nothing but bore me all campaign season, whether it's Romney or some other person being profiled. He's been windy. He's been sort of, like, pretty lame. I'm going to use my veto power in this particular instance and give the good old New Yorker a chilly Frio designation. But I'll, I'll defer to you. I'll defer to you next time. I just I, I didn't know you had veto power. I do have veto it. power. You know, we've been doing this for 19 years. <laughs> okay, next uh, next publication. Go ahead. Uh, the in-towner. Oh, the in-towner. Uh, I can't even understand the headline. <laughs> it's going straight up on the Frio. Super Frio. Do, you, do, you, do you see anything to, to understand here? No. I no. mean, DuPont Circle, Main Street's organization, credit for programs, helping merchants, $5 P Street Valley. What, what the hell's going on here? Come on. Okay. Straighten up your headlines in town. Uh, what's next, Ruth? Okay. I just, uh, this, this ran in the Washington Times, I believe, yes, March 4th yesterday. Um, basically, it says that the district hasn't had the same sorts of strong medications in their ambulances that other local jurisdictions have had for years, more than, I mean, over two decades, I think. That's some insight. Um, and so this is, this is important stuff. You know, mm -hmm. next time you have a seizure, you are wanting to stop seizuring, or people around you are wanting to stop seizuring, you might actually stop seizuring. Wow, well that's, um, yeah, the Washington Times, you know, under new editor, trying to, uh, trying to uh, do more even-handed uh, coverage of the news. They've lost a lot of staff on the metro uh, front, but still, once in a while, nice little story, no argument, goes straight up on the Fuego side. Okay, next up, from the Express, this morning. Oh, we have this highlighted and everything. Precious, I'm gonna precious I'm going to let you story. take this away. Okay, Obama. There is an Obama in Japan. It is the name of a town, a uh, fishing town, and the people there love Barack Obama, apparently. They have made sweet bean cakes with his face on them. Um, I don't know, so, how darling can you get? That's wonderful. So the Express here is doing a great job of choosing the right AP story. <laughs> so let's give them credit there. Good job, Express. You have chosen an interesting AP story. You are 
Fuego. But let's talk media bias here, because there are probably a lot of Clintons. A lot of Clintons. Clinton, Maryland. There's got to be a Clinton in every state. There's got to be a Clinton Did they in call New York. those Clintons up and did they find out? But this is, for, <laughs> I, I think it's easily defensible. Yeah, Media you just, bias. Okay. So <laughs> All now, right. Harry Jaffe, Columbia Heights. Oh, this ran is in the this, examiner. This is the examiner. Harry Jaffe does his, I think, a, a couple a week. Uh, Hardworking journalist. But here, I think he's just tilting that perhaps one of the oldest stories in the district. Ooh, Renaissance, Columbia Heights. Everybody bites at this. It's been going on for you know almost a decade now with the with the 1999 opening of the metro. I think that you have to find a vastly new way to cover cover Columbia Heights. He is gonna go, Frio. Okay, folks. Well, that is Fuego and Frio um, for this week of Washington City Paper. We appreciate the loyal audience we've cultivated over 21 years on the internet, and we'll see you next week.